If you've never played Rope Pits before, this video is definitely for you because in today's video, I went through the player tutorial as well as some of the basics of Rope Pits. And if you've never played Rope Pits before, link will of course be down below in the description if you would like to try this game and uh, it's definitely worth it to try. Now, anyways, before we get started, I want you guys to, uh, you know, you're going to spawn in your house. You're going to click this backpack, but I suppose if you're a new player, you're just going to have arrows. But either way, you can just head on over to the pet shop and head over here because this is the Knowledge Museum. And it's pretty much everything you need to know on how to play row pets. So if there's something you're not sure of, you can either ask me down below or you can come up here and see if something here answers your question. And of course, these like blue things are like what like coins and gems, pet location need, evolved and shiny pets and so on and so on. And I'm telling you, this is very, very helpful if you're a new player or have just never played row pets before in your entire life. And even if you have, you might still be confused, which is why this is here. So uh, let's go ahead and make an account to do that player tutorial. All right, so here I am on a brand new account. Welcome to row pets. Your new playful best friend is looking for a good home and is excited to meet you please go talk to the mayor and of course there's going to be arrows leading you all the way here to the pet shop so we're just gonna go ahead and enter this and bam here it is leading you to the mayor row pets player tutorial i'm so happy you're here um, so then you get to pick out a new best friend that is going to be with you from the start of your row pets journey. So I will say the two best ones to get is the dolphin and the fox because those are the only uncommons that are on here. The rest are actually commons. But ultimately, starting out, I would just pick whatever appeals to you the most. Um, so I think I'm just going to go for a nice cat. So we're going to use the cat. See, it's the mayor's favorite pet as well. Yeah, so starting off, of course, you're going to have arrows because starting off, you're going to have no idea what to do. So you can just walk on over here, place your pet in the tub and wait for the task to complete. Your next task is your pet is hungry. Feed it to earn coins. Open the backpack and select the apple. So open your backpack. Bam, you can select apple right there and your pet will be fed there we go well done so next is going to be your pet is thirsty feed it to earn coins open your backpack and select water so bam there you go you can just go ahead and select the water and there we go it is done so your pet is sleepy bring your pets to a bed to earn coins tap the needs bubble above for more info so obviously you can either go to the cafe or you can just go ahead and teleport to the cafe which is one of the other things that i'll be showing you guys in this video and after you're done with that great job tutorial complete the world of row pets awaits create your dream home and build for free collect and raise over 550 pets and mini pets mini games daily obby cars planes trading dancing and so much more you can go ahead and tap okay and then of course um daily reward so this is going to be your first day you can claim and day seven you're always going to get 50 gems and then when you first start off you're also going to have new player rewards so in order to complete all of this you're going to need to complete 10 pet needs and then after that it's actually going to start a timer every single day when you join i'm pretty sure it resets every 12 hours or something like that so if you haven't just make sure to uh, get it because if not then it's just going to make you restart all over again so of course i did some task i'm gonna get all of these rewards for right now mushy compact car etc and pretty much i'm just gonna do five more pet needs and then i'm gonna show you guys the timer all right so this is the last task that i need to complete this over here so after this is done i'm going to show you some of the rewards that you can get so first off these are all of the new player rewards these are not coming back so once you've done the new player rewards this thing is not going to pop up ever again so you know just stare at it look at it free petling uh petling coins tokens you know boats we have a car gems pretty much everything that you would use on a regular basis in the game and then of course we end off with a basic egg 
And now you can see the daily playtime rewards. So you have to play for three hours every single day to get all of these rewards and I think that's a pretty good deal because along with all of these rewards they have an autoplay so I'm just gonna do it so you guys can see like I'm not touching the mouse or anything this it's gonna move by itself here in just a second as you can see so pretty much this is just gonna do all of your tasks for you besides the water and food task um so right now you can see my pet needs to eat that's not going away unless you do it yourself so you can kind of auto play and play at the same time like if you have a meeting at work and you just like oh man i really wish i could play some row pets then you can kind of do both at the same time but as you can see down below it says come back within 20 minutes to collect your loot and avoid getting disconnected if you don't obviously you will disconnect and uh yeah but all of your loot will be right over here um so Either way, if you disconnect, no worries because you can hop back in the game and bam, it will be right here. So another big part of Row Pets is over here. This is a crown and this is the season pass. So pretty much this is the free pass and this is the premium pass, which does actually cost 500 Robux, which is about $5 USD, maybe six depending on, you know, where you live, um, because I think it's like 450 for five dollars but of course if you buy premium it's going to go up um so that's something to just keep in mind so all of these pets you can hatch or get in the game just by playing so the only things that you can't get is this fully age up potion like you can't get that anywhere besides the season pass they're untradeable so you're never going to be able to get it unless you buy the season pass now, this petling is the only petling that you cannot hatch out of the gold capsule, um, this silver capsule, uh, wherever it is. Yep, silver capsule and this regular capsule. So you're not going to be able to get that last petling in the season pass from that because it's exclusive to the season pass. But of course, you can always trade for it. So no worries. So yeah, you can kind of see that my pet is like routine. It's not fully grown. But if I use an age up potion, you can see, bam, it's done. It's real grown. So whether your pet is like newborn or an egg, you can actually hatch an egg with this. So you can just age up potion, bam, the egg is going to hatch and there we go and you got a dog which is a common because my like is bad but of course uh 77 chance of a common in the basic egg so that's kind of a huge part of uh rope heads because of course if you're busy and something um you could always use this you can save you can collect them when new updates come out you can be the first person to make an evolved or shiny which is actually what i'm gonna show you next so if you go over here to city center, you see this huge evolve sign. Use the evolved shrine to merge four real-grown pets of the same type to get an evolved or shiny variant, or merge four petlings of any type for the chance of getting one of a different rarity. So um, I am actually going to show you, but not on here. So let's go back to my main. All right, bam, here I am back on my main. So pretty much... Um, Oop, I need to turn interactions on. That would be very helpful. So you can hit click E. You can evolve pets or merge petlings. So let's do merge petlings first. Of course, I'm not going to merge pugs. But, you know, I can merge cherry. So I'm going to merge two rares and common and a common. I This is like a guaranteed rare. Um, but, you know, I just want to show you guys how this works. Yep, that's a rare octopi. Um, so, yeah, and, of course, there is the evolved pets feature. So, you can really pick any pet that you want to make shiny. I'm going to pick this Draculotl and go ahead and make that shiny. So, there we go. This is the shiny version of the Draculotl, which is no longer obtainable. It is actually from Halloween of 2023. So there we go. You can kind of see how that works. So it's the same pet except um, it changed. So normally it was like normal and now it's all like glowy. 
so those are pretty much some of the basic things about row pets you know some of these things you're gonna do just by playing the game normally you don't actually have to work for anything um unless you want to of course um but the major thing in this game is of course the pets and building so first let's do pets and then we're going to go to building and the other stuff that i didn't mention in this video of course you can go up there you can go right here to uh get up there and it's a player tutorial so pretty much um you know there's definitely more there's obby which i didn't show you which you guys can check out um, on your own time um, but here it is all of the magical pets so this is the mythic egg this is the blue egg this is the pet egg this is the um, green egg and this is the basic pet egg so above each of these eggs it's all the pets that you can hatch so donkey cat dog turtle hamster dolphin fox duck a uh, pig sheep bee mouse goat um warthog zebra seal you know etc and um you can kind of see all of these um so this one of course this is the only one that you can't purchase over here the rest you can so like this pig 390 robux um and so on so if you really wanted something like that um you know i recommend that if you do get one of these i recommend the legendary personally because i mean like duck you can probably get from opening a few basic eggs um and yeah so the mythical egg of course it has these mythical pets and um they are 600 coins and all of these are actually 300 so this is double the price and you can't actually purchase them with robux unless you do gems and want to like purchased an evolved pet egg which does grant you the ability to hatch one of these amazing pets you don't know what you're going to get but it's going to be a random evolved version of that pet so if you were to say hatch a unicorn which is the best pet so far just because this egg is double the cost of everything else um this one is not exactly double but it is like 600 more um gems than all of these other things over here so overall um it is a very good deal i wouldn't start with the mythical egg instead i would start with one of these and of course you can look above to see what kind of pet you want and each egg has a legendary and you can see what the chances are for each of these things and of course kind of going off of this if you don't want to hatch or something um you can go to city center you can turn around and you can see this trading center right here now here you can search up any pet so like i said you could search up a pig and bam a pig so some of these things are absolutely absurd as you can see um but you know sometimes it's a good deal like a goat for three pigs that would be a nice trade um and you might find some very good ones but if you're starting out i honestly wouldn't recommend going there unless you have a friend that's like bugging you to play this game ask them because they're your friends they're not gonna lie to you they're gonna tell you how it is um so yeah pretty much that's what you can do so the next thing is actually building so if you go teleport to my house um we're actually gonna go outside first because as you can see um you can tap this mailbox and you can kind of choose whatever house you want you know you can look at it you're like do i want this one do i not want this one you can pick anything that you want so let's go with this house you know you can repaint it anything that you would like um, and they really do allow you to customize your house a lot. Um, like, just by looking at this, you can kind of tell. Um, so you can choose any colors that you want. Just don't do what I'm doing, I think. Um, yeah, it could definitely be better. But uh, here we are. I'm just going to choose some of this. And bam, you can tell, you know everything is customizable like even these like little bricks right there which is just insane and of course same goes for all of these so i can go for this one repaint it and you know i can customize the floor i want it to be green and then this i kind of want it to be darker so you can choose that this well i want it to be pink so of course you can choose pink and so on and look at that now you got your very own house um that you kind of made yourself 
um so i kind of like that idea and then of course you can go inside and here is your house so you can actually go to design and you can change the floor plan you can you know name it you can click new design and of course for a hundred gems um any so of course for a hundred gems you can have a new plot and you start out with two so you can either reset the floor plan uh which resets all of your furniture or you can change the floor plan so this one does cost three thousand to start off with but blank you can select blank for free you can select the basic house for free and these two do come furnished but i do recommend uh building some because it's not fully furnished and for the big thing you can go to decor um and the reason they said free building so some things do cost um coins and gems of course but if you're like doing the blank floor plan look at all of the shapes each one of these is free now they do have a build limit but unless you're building like hogwarts or something which someone actually did i forgot the person's name but someone actually built that and it's absolutely insane so if you can find them like applause to you um, so you can really build anything that you set your mind to. They're recolorable. You can change the size of them you, up or like sideways, like really anything that you want. Um, you can do inside of row pets using your imagination. So honestly, if you weren't here for the pets, I think building is really the next step inside of row pets. And um, there's actually one more thing that I didn't mention, but I want to, because as you saw my avatar earlier, I was dressed as a big lump of poop. So yeah, <laughs> so pooping is a huge part of row pets. I wouldn't say a huge part, but as you can see, we have an event going on right now. And there's these two limited poos that you can get. They're house decor. So if you play right now, you might be able to get some of these items. And if you're watching this in the future, don't worry because um, you can still trade for them. But uh, here we are. Um, so I really think that if you played enough, you could get one of these. And they are fairly rare because they're random. Um, and there's probably a hundred poos or something so you can go over here to the sticker book click this poo icon and you can see all of the poos to collect common uncommon rare epic legendary mythical and of course seasonal which only um goes up during events like right now it's valentine's day and the lunar update so of course we have the lunar poo and the valentine's day poo so those are kind of like the big aspects of um row pets and of course i didn't cover every single thing so no problem at all you can like maybe there's another video explaining every single thing on row pets um but i really don't think i have enough memory for that because there's so much things to do in row pets there really is a lot and i think if you're a new player you should definitely give row pets a chance and i'm not just saying that because i'm an influencer you know i haven't been one until recently and i definitely know that if you like pet games you're definitely going to like this game because you know look at these little pets and you know they dance you know, if that doesn't get you to join Row Pets, I honestly don't know what will. And um, if you are new, um, please help us. Yep, smash that like button. I want two times weekend. Come on, people. And um, if you're new, it also helps you. So um, chop chop. So guys, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot. And I know every single influencer says that, but it really is true. Um, and of course, don't forget that next Thursday, the like, I don't know, the, uh, the seventh or something like that, uh, somewhere close to there is going to be the brand new season 11 pass um so definitely try to get your hands on that when it first releases now thank you so much for watching peace out